The talk in D.C. is all about voting rights, as legislation is being pushed by Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who says it could happen this week. And we're also getting a look at a new poll breaking down how Americans feel about the issue. New numbers from Morning Consult and Politico say about a third of people think voting laws are fine just as they are. This as some Democrats say it's do or die time, that if Republicans won't come to the table to talk voting rights, they'll change the filibuster rules so they don't need Republican support. If Republicans refuse to join us in a bipartisan spirit, if they ref continue to hijack the rules of the Senate to turn this chamber into a deep freezer, we're going to consider the appropriate steps necessary to restore the Senate. Voters are split on if they support changing the filibuster for voting rights. 37% say yes, 36% say no. The rest say they aren't quite sure how they feel about it. Of course, when you look at the parties, that changes. 62% of Democrats are in favor of the change, but 57% of Republicans say it should stay just as it is. The filibuster is not about stopping a nominee or a bill. It's about compromise and moderation. Consider how different the Senate would be without the filibuster. Whenever one party replaced the other as majority, tax and spending parties would change. One place where most people agreed, changing a law called the Electoral Count Act to clarify that the vice president cannot reject state-certified results when Congress meets to count the votes. Multiple sources are reporting former Vice President Mike Pence had been asked to reject the results when Congress went to certify the election outcome on January 6th. 55% of voters say that needs to be changed. As the Senate looks to address voting legislation, one thought is that they will focus on the Electoral Count Act first, as it's a pretty simple fix, or as simple as anything on Capitol Hill is. Straight from D.C., I'm Annie Anderson.